UNAM is expected to cater to the needs of its campuses with the $960 million it received from government for the current financial year. However, as demand for quality health care increases, it is putting pressure on faculty of health sciences. Professor Nyarango says additional funding is therefore required to increase program offerings such as medical specialization. Every year we send out 10 doctors to specialize. It's like we are giving away 10 million Namibian dollars for free to that country where they're going to specialize. I'm informed there are about 60. That means 60 million Namibian dollars being spent elsewhere. With government budget cuts not sparing any sector, NBC News could not independently verify whether UNA management had submitted the request for additional funding separately or as part of its initial budget. UNAM Council Chairperson Sam Shivute could not comment on the matter. Hagi Gengop campus is also in need of lecture halls and recreational facilities, while at the School of Dentistry there is a shortage of residential units for students. The university estimates $500 million for the construction and the upgrades. This institution is not necessarily an expense. It is a productive investment. When these programs are fully running, we will be saving this country $100 million dollars a year. UNAM initially mapped out to construct various schools under the campus in six phases. It is currently at phase three, which is 50% complete. Blanche Corres, NBC News.